The Hua Meng YS3M is a collaboration between Bo Yu and Yu Sheng Du, aka the current Rubik's Cube world record holder of 3.47 seconds. What a guy! But what he actually contributed to the development of the cube is kind of a mystery, and I'm pretty positive that it's mostly a marketing stunt. I mean, what does this dude even know about cube design, honestly? But he does look pretty fancy though, and I think it is working. I wanna buy the cube! I have done over 3,000 souls so far on the YS3M and really have quite a lot to share about the cube. So I thought it would be a good idea to combine what I think are the top 5 worst and best things about this cube. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The cube has already proven itself. So I can go and tell my opinions about it, saying that it is a great puzzle and all, but who am I? Except for national record holder and people's dream destroyer cube head, I don't have any remarkable performances. But just few weeks after its release, Max Park, aka number 2 of the world, switched to the YS3M. Now, Max is one of the few guys not sponsored by a cube company, except for a Rubik's Cube, but I think it's pretty trivial that he won't be using that cube. So he just chooses what he performs best on. And for him, choosing that cube means a lot. But also Luke Garrett got a 5.03 average on the same cube just weeks after the release, which placed him fourth in the world. Now they both used the YS3M as their main cube, but the YS3M actually consists of four cubes, which brings me to the first bad point. They released four versions of the same cube. We have a stock version for $15, a Magla version for $20, a Balcor version for $26, and a Magic Clothes version for $36. Now, on the surface, that might not seem like an issue, but the fact that they released three versions of the Super RS3M not so long ago leaves us with seven versions to choose from in a relatively small price range. But your boy Cupad is here to help you out by saying either get the cheapest version of the Super RS3M or one of the Balcor versions of the YS3M. I can say this pretty confidently after watching and reading everything that's aligned about these cubes at the moment. <laughs> the Balcor version is the same one Luke and Max used for their averages and is also the cube I'm going to be talking about in this video. And you might think, oh, but getting the flagship cube will mean that I have to sell my kidneys. They are so expensive. But actually, they aren't that expensive. $26 for what seems to be Moyu's 2023 flagship cube is a great deal. As comparison, Gan's flagship cube is $80. And even though the Magic Clothes upgrade, which is a glossy more grippy finish of the Balkor version, is a $10 upgrade, it is still the cheapest UV coated cube on the market, with the runner-up being a hefty $60 Gan 11M Pro UV. But anyways, if you do end up getting one of the YS3M versions, you can expect to see this beautiful man, some basic accessories, pamphlets which you'll probably never use. You will also struggle getting the cube out of the box. Moyu, what is this? You rip off the plastic, you can't wait to do your first turn. But you will realize... The cube is really dry out of the box. Now, there isn't really much to say about this. A dry, unlooped cube is always worse than a properly looped one. And while this might be a bad point for the people who don't want to loop their cubes, it can also be an advantage for other people. It will all become clear when I say this famous quote. While some people see a dry cube, I see a nice blank canvas. Alexander the Great. I like setting up cubes and giving my cubes a really distinctive, enjoyable feel. That's part of the reason people like the Yo cube so much. In fact, the first version of that cube was on a dry Moyu cube. This cube being dry out of the box makes it easier for me or anyone else to customize the feel by using their own loops. And who knows, if we ever do decide to turn the YS3M in a Yo cube, you can bet it will feel amazing. Even our boy Phil used it as a go-to loop setup for his YS3M. But let's dive deeper into the cube. Deeper. DEEPER! Okay, not that deep. If you look at the design and the pieces of the cube, you will notice something. It seems like I've seen this before. The YS3M seems pretty much like another iteration of the RS3M. And although the mechanism is different in subtle but yet important ways, it seems like Moyo didn't make a great effort in making this cube distinct from their other releases. As an example, Moyu, how are you going to give us the same dual adjustment system we found in a GDS 3M from 2018? And it also leads us straight to number two of the bad list, a lack of customization options. The dual adjustment system we can find on the YS3M comes with a screw for the screw distance and a plastic container with a tool for the spring compression. If you want to know exactly how that works, check out this video where I go over all the technologies you can find in modern speed cubes. But what you need to know right now is that giving this cube a screw in 2023 means that you can have uneven tensions on each side of the cube, which is bad. Also, I, as well as many other people online, find that the base compression of the cube is already pretty compressed, and some even change the containers to get more compression options on their cube. And that's not ideal. And the ball core version of this cube may come with corner edge magnets as well as core corner magnets, 
but there is no way to customize the strength of them. And the Magnus are in fact really, really there. Like they are present. You will notice them a lot. I mean, check behind your door. They will be there. By the way, it's really not that bad. They're just pretty strong magnets, and I kind of like it, to be honest. And although it seems like I'm dissing the cube a bit here, this lack of customizations may not be so bad after all. Ah, the simplicity. You may not be able to customize a lot, but it also gets rid of some of the clutter we might find on other cubes. And I'm not just talking about mental clutter, but also mechanical clutter. For example, only the three or four first settings of the compressions are probably going to be used. The other ones are pretty much too compressed. But that means that you will find the one you like a bit easier, because you just have fewer options to choose from. Mine is three, by the way. And even though you only have screws to adjust the center travel, the base screw depth seems to be okay, so you probably won't need to touch that. No magnet adjustments? Well, you don't need any levers in all of the edges or the core to adjust the magnet strength. And this, I found, results in a cube that feels just a bit smoother than the rest that's out there. But about the feel of this cube, it is a really distinctive feel. Not so long ago, I brought the cube with me to a competition where I let other people try it. And most people said to me, damn, it's blocky or whoa so tactile or that's a pretty heavy cube and those are all valid points the cube is a pretty solid tactile blocky cube it's kind of how like gan cubes are light airy and flexible moyu decided to do the opposite which means that if you don't like these qualities in a cube the cube just isn't for you but if it is what you look for in a cube well it is probably the best performing cube on the market right now I've done over 3000 souls on the cube so far and despite all of what I mentioned before, the performance is the most important aspect when you consider to buy a cube. And Moyu nailed it. For example, the blocky feel makes it so that I find it easier to keep the cube in cube shape, which helps with control of the cube. The smooth plastic in design gives the cube the speed which you wouldn't expect to get out of such a solid tactile cube. And I just feel that in general, there aren't any weird catches or anomalies I get when I'm using the cube. If there's one thing I wish I could change, it would be to make the cube one millimeter bigger, since 55 millimeter is just too tiny for my gorilla hands. And as for my personal customizations, I unscrewed the core just a tiny bit and set the compressions at number three, added the yo loop combo, and I'm pretty confident it will be my main cube for the next competition I go to. My goal this year is to break the national record, so I must be pretty confident to be switching cubes. If you want to find out whether I will succeed, please subscribe and we'll find out together. Oh yeah, and if you want to get the cube yourself, check out the links in the description, buy it on the best site on the world wide web, the cubicle, and use the OG discount code CUPED for a huge discount as well as a free CUPED logo. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.